What's up guys, it's me, Ravage Dragon, here for October Thon Night 6. This is Night 6, but we're doing something a little bit different than a gameplay. We're doing Nukes Top 5. These are top 5 videos that will make you go, ah! Alright, so I hope we're ready. I hope you ravage the like button, subscribe button, and also that notification bell for Nukes Top 5. Nuke is an awesome dude and he does some pretty good videos very intriguing so you should follow that check him out follow him help him out so he can make more videos like today's video so we're gonna get to it all right nukes top five let's go now by the ghost caught on camera Ghost Norwegian Cam Ghost. Norwegian. This next scary video is from Norway, where we see three girls sitting around playing Norway. with a homemade Ouija board. Well, that's it's not good. A homemade to... Ouija board or a Japanese Kokori San board? It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, as one girl films, nothing much happens at first. Okay. But then things take a very unexpected turn. Where did it turn? <laughs> of course, it took a turn. Not afraid. <laughs> what? I first. Okay. This is something that you would never play with. I mean, I don't... It's not working? You should say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. That was sick. Yeah, obviously. Stop playing this game. Didn't anybody hear that knocking? No, oh, say goodbye and the game. They have to keep going. One, two, three, give us a sign. No! The chandelier is moving. Great. Oh, if there's one thing to be learned from this creepy video, uh -huh. is that when you're messing with ghosts on a Ouija board, never say, quote, it's not working, or, quote, show us a sign. Word. So, do you think this is a scary video of a summoned ghost caught on camera? 
Or is it just some bored Norwegian girls pulling a prank? Let me know. In all honesty, yeah, it could be a prank because you can have somebody underneath the table because they never showed underneath the table that somebody pulled a string. They know how long how to pull it. Then, you know, it looked like somebody was in a green screen suit and smacked the hell out of the chandelier. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Somebody smacked the hell out of it. But, again, I'm not too big on believing in spirits and stuff. But when you deal with a Ouija board, I'd rather not mess with something if I don't know if it's real or not. So, yeah, don't mess with a Ouija board. That's the number one rule. Don't touch it. If you don't believe in the supernatural, fine. Just, just play with the Ouija board. Play the one that says Mattel on it. Don't get make a spirit board. Don't make anything outside of Mattel. It's Mattel most likely is fake. But yeah, let's continue. You stop by viewers and first time paranormal explorers Salem and Faraz okay. travel to the abandoned Excellencia Hotel Suites in the city of Amman, Jordan. Okay. Trying to conduct a nighttime exploration of the creepy nine story building. Okay. The hotel is said to be haunted after a tragic event that happened five years ago. Okay. A man found his wife cheating on him in a hotel room on the third floor. Oh. In a rage, the man took her life and that of her lover. Oh. Soon after, the hotel was forced to shut down after receiving a bad reputation, and guests began to claim that they experienced a constant dreadful feeling of being watched. I feel like However, that all the time. Simon and Faras are more worried about encountering real and very much alive people during their exploration as mm. they too feel like they're being watched and followed when they reach the supposedly Squatters? third floor the explorers experience something downright chilling okay it could be squatters squatters know how to hide and not be who seen who did this, who did this? Okay, this is taco. This is not cool. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a person. I think it's a squatter. Okay. Since we entered this place, we can't get a good feeling. After this, I feel like I'm being followed. So fuck it. Mm. Might be a squatter keeping an eye on y'all. Okay. See what y'all doing. Okay. This is the one. Imagine there was a face on that balcony. This is the one. Imagine there was a face on that balcony. <laughs> Okay. Believe it or not, I've been to places like this. Someone was here. Squatters. There is more clothes in the Yeah, I need to leave. There's squatters there. That's dangerous. The reason why they haven't done anything because it's like four of them. Be careful, dude. Solemn claims oh. that he felt that something was watching them, and when analyzing the footage, a strange, bizarre shape can be seen in a room at the end of the hallway. When Salem pans uh -huh. his camera back to the hallway, nothing there. Mm. Then his friend Fares claims to have seen someone in the hotel room where the tragic event took place, and they both just make a run for it. In the last shot, a terrifying figure can be seen watching the two friends from very close by <laughs> so did something paranormal chase them out of the hotel because just what 
is this. I leave it up to you Whoa. to decide. You can watch the full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Salem and Fares, GHT. Whoa! It could be a person because when the camera moves like that and it's dark, um, obviously our human eyes do glow in the dark um, when the light hits it. So, especially on video, we've seen it many times before. Hell, red eye when you got pictures and then your eyes are red for no reason. Um, yeah, it could have been a person. It's a squatter. They're probably living there. Um, they were keeping an eye on them to see if they're stealing the, their stuff and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it might not even be a ghost at all. Because if, like, things were moving or, you know, somebody was saying something like, like, get out, you know, then you would feel the supernatural thing. But when you feel somebody is threatening and they're around you, you can feel that energy off that person. So it alerts you. You, your body alerts you with that energy so it makes you go yo something's wrong somebody's here i don't like this what's going on so that's basically what that is and that's why they were like that so yeah that that's basically what it was it, it was a squatter who's keeping an eye on them key video was sent in by nukes top five viewer it's pastor dangerous. aaron from peace memorial Ooh. church in oregon Pastor Aaron explains in his email that because of the current global health crisis, he was attempting to record announcements for the church's temporary online services. Okay. He's using his phone to record a video when he is interrupted by something that he just can't explain. He can't explain. He can't explain. Hola. Well, hey, everybody. Pastor Aaron here. It's my oh. pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be... Oh. Will be uh, open... Ooh, that just tilted. it. Okay, we're we're uh, we've been trying to do this announcement several times today already, and uh, three times that podium back there has fallen over on its own, and it's uh, it's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's not sensing anything. It's uh, kind of like. This. Oh uh, boy. Has been wobbling okay so there's we checked the vent there's a vent there that is not an air duct <laughs> this... that has any forced air at all so it can't be wobbling from that yeah oh, there's absolutely no breeze in here you can see by the banner there there's this Ooh, no what is that it's these things they're off i don't know did you check the carpet so i'm just gonna sit here and watch it for a little bit and uh We'll I'll see if it does it again. Oh, now the flag is moving. Ooh, that thing's moving. That hasn't been moving. Hey, leave the American flag alone. That's How dare you? On. Seriously, nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. This pastor is weird. Come on. A pastor would have done start blessing that area just in case, you know. He would have been like, Ara da Spiritu Santi. You know, he, he would have blessed that area so that won't happen because he would know that there's something weird or off or the energy is different there. Pastor Aaron says that he has used the podium for years and it has never once been wobbly or suddenly fallen over. Even stranger, the flagpole next to the podium begins to move on its own as well. The pastor explains that nothing spooky or paranormal has ever happened at the church. Okay. But he says that a few times he has been called to help families who were dealing with paranormal events at their homes. So could something have followed Pastor Aaron back to the church? Yeah. Let me know what you think. It would have been happening since he came back from the house. Did you send that video to Nuke? It's so good. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't. Uh, the next video uh, was sent in by Nate Howard from Providence, Utah. Okay, Nate Utah. Sent in his email that he and his family moved to their new rental home just four months ago. Okay. And almost immediately, they began to experience very creepy and unexplainable activity. 
Okay, dokie. Family hears the unexplained sound of multiple people walking around the house. I don't like that. Cupboards open and close on their own, and lights <laughs> in the house turn on and off at all hours of the night. After being woken by these bizarre noises several times, the family decided to set up a few security cameras around the home. Two days later, Nate discovers one of the cameras has recorded something absolutely chilling. Okay. What did they record, Nuke? Let's see. What did they record? What? I'm looking. Oh! What the hell? The lights in the kitchen flicker on and off by themselves as a strange shadow figure appears out of nowhere. Nate is baffled by what they've captured on camera and is worried that the cameras might have somehow triggered whatever might be haunting their new home. But what do you think or... this could be? Let me know down below. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, okay. contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Okie dokie. Wait, before we continue. All right. So it's possible that there could be somebody who's living in their apartment without them knowing that they're living there. I mean, there have been cases where that has happened a number of times. There was one dude who, who kept finding stuff missing and whatnot. And he set up a camera finally in his kitchen. And there was some lady who was living in his cupboard. Right above like the refrigerator or something. He was, she was living in the cupboard. So it could be a, somebody living in their house. And they use the light to um, deter from catching them on camera. Or it could be a ghost. Who knows? Do you know? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, yeah, let's continue. Urbex Explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer often finds himself in some of the creepiest abandoned locations in England. Okay. But he says he's never been to one as scary as this. Ah, a hospital interesting. that was built in 1882 to treat children suffering from horrible infectious diseases. Okay. The large structure that sucks. closed down in the 1980s and has been left to rot ever since. Uh, Considering the building's tragic history, it's no wonder that Colin feels a little creeped out as he heads inside completely alone to explore the old hospital. But never go alone. I don't understand why these explorers or people who do things like this go by themselves. Don't go alone. Never go alone. Main reason why you never go alone, you never know you might hit a weak structure and fall down the hole and you can't climb back up who's gonna save your ass you don't go alone <laughs> because he starts to hear some very odd sounds what do you hear god this is really creepy do you know what i hate i, I love it but i hate it at the same time walk around these places on your own because i don't know Right now, it, it feels like there's someone like Stoop right behind me following me. There's not, but it feels like that. Uh -huh. Oh no, I would have left. <laughs> I would have left. My ass would be gone. <laughs> Knocking? And then you go check? I'm not gonna go check. That has a pattern. I think I heard a motorcycle. A pole fell. Sound like somebody's messing with him. Oh man. I gave myself chills because chills. <laughs> I gave myself chills because I was just thinking like what if you saw like like a kid in a corner going I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god and then just vanishes. That'd be creepy as hell. <laughs> like seriously, that'd be creepy as hell.
Hello. Hello. Understandably, Colin gets more and more freaked out by all the unexplained sounds that seem to be coming from somewhere very near him. He decides to just end his exploration, but before he does, he puts his camera down on the ground to get one last standard B-roll shot of himself walking the hospital hall. But instead, he captures something downright chilling. Oh boy. While filming my walk up, I heard a noise very close to me. What did he record? Ooh. Did you see it? Colin Look. is shocked when he sees what looks like the dark figure of a child standing at the end oh. of the hallway. Yeah. As he grabs oh. up his camera, he catches just a glimpse of the childlike figure as it disappears into thin air. Now, some people say that what Colin captured could just be explained away as a shadow or an optical illusion. Yeah, it could be pareidolia. He did actually see the apparition of a little boy inside the haunted hospital. It could be so a pareidolia. And after many requests from his viewers, Colin returns to the abandoned hospital again. At night? It probably goes without saying, but it did not go well. Of course not. What made you think it went well? And then he went by himself again. Why am I doing this? Why am I here on my own? Because you're thirsty for attention. It's a bad hospital <laughs> that I saw something. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a ghost. It was pareidolia. It, it wasn't a shadow. I mean, I can show you guys now, right? This is basically where I was standing. This, this is where I was. The camera was literally so there. This is what you saw. Basically that. Now, I heard something. I cracked myself, I ran back here, and as I picked it up, I went like that, and then I saw something just behind that blue chair. Paradolia. Bearing in mind, I saw it with my own eyes. I didn't realise I had it on camera, but a lot of you guys were saying it's shadows, it's this, it's that, but you know, I just cannot stress to you enough that this wasn't a shadow. I actually saw something move with my own eyes, and... I cannot reenact that, you know, that there is no shadow. What the hell was that? Oh, I think it's just water dripping. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm probably putting off going up there. But... Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I would have left already. Hear noises all around me. Yo, oh. just... I think he would have died at a, uh, of a heart attack if... If one of those ghost kids just grabbed his hand <laughs> and walked next to him, oh my god, he would die. He would have turned white right there. He would have been at the doors of heaven already. Oh man. Because <laughs> he's already freaked out as is. What the hell was that? That looks like a kid over there too, but that's just the window. What's that? I'm sure I heard something. Yeah, I do. It's probably just the wind. I felt that I had to come back here and just... Just come here again and just see... You know, try and find a reason, you know, some... Like an explanation, if you like, to... Whoa. But I never put... Is that a kid over there? Weird. Yo, I wish I this dude had. Whoa. I wish okay. this dude had zoom. Okay, that's scary. I'm pretty sure it's just water dripping, but. Oh. God, this is absolutely. What the f? No, I'm, I'm hearing noises all around me. I don't know what it is. He leave. You're not there welcome is... there. See? Oh, I, 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 I am just so terrified right now. Much like his last visit, Colin again hears odd unexplained noises coming from all around him. <laughs> he heads up to the hospital's second floor, takes a look around, <laughs> and then heads back down to the first floor hallway. Oh, yeah. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. Of course it does. <sighs> what is it about this place? A little kid's going to run at him. I 
hate this place, I really do. Oh! You saw that, right? You see his breath. That's not good. That's the first indication of ghosts, apparently. The temperature drops. Because there was no smoke. Like, you couldn't see his breath the first time he was there. Now you see his breath. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there. Oh. <laughs> a small red ball comes rolling out of one of the hospital rooms and Colin makes a run for it. Oh After boy. All that he's seen and heard at the old abandoned uh -uh. hospital. Colin says he'll never go back alone. <laughs> Don't go alone. Watch both explorations at the abandoned hospital and many more great urbex videos over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Mhm. Mm Mother So when you go to places where it's really sad like it, you you heard that there was like a lot of children that passed away because of sicknesses and stuff like that usually has a lot of energy and the fact that he thought he saw something that was very like you couldn't tell what it was honestly you couldn't tell that you could put all kinds of stuff on it and make it look like what you thought you saw but in reality i doubt it but once i saw his breath and you haven't seen his breath throughout the whole clip once you see his breath Right there is an indication of spirits and, and, and ghosts and stuff. So, yeah. Of course you was going to see something once you saw that. <laughs> I would have left. That's a whole different situation. If I'm in their territory, I would have been gone. If you're in my territory, I got balls. <laughs> Alright, next clip. Canadian paranormal investigator Jordan from the popular YouTube channel Paranormies sets out on a solo investigation to a small two-bedroom home in Winnipeg, Canada okay. that is believed to be haunted by a troubled spirit. Winnipeg. The house belongs to a man named Anesh who grew up in the home with his mother, Manisha. Okay. But one day, Anesh's beloved mother, Manisha, fell extremely ill. Oh. Refusing to go to the hospital, Manisha passed away on her own bed in the home that she and Anesh shared. That sucks. Anesh was absolutely devastated when he found her. Struck with intense, debilitating grief, I he was unable to call the authorities for two days as he mourned. Today, Anesh believes that he made a terrible mistake by <laughs> waiting so long. He should have just took it to the hospital. The body must receive a proper burial ritual soon after death, or the spirit mm. could become trapped and unable to move on. Okay. Anesh claims that his mother has appeared to him as a white cat, greeting him every day on his way to work. Oh. He has also seen his mother standing in his bedroom doorway. After waking up in the middle of the night, oh no! He says that the home has been so paranormally active that he truly believes the spirit of his mother is trapped inside. Paranormal investigator Jordan spends the night at the house in the hopes of helping Manisha's ghost pass on from its earthly bonds. Okay, Jordan, Jordan decides to try a supernatural test. He leaves the motion-activated ball at the top of the stairs in the loft before continuing his investigations downstairs. Later, when he finds himself back at the staircase to the loft, he's in for a chilling surprise. <laughs> chilling. Surprise! Okay, I think... Whoa. The ball's going off right now. Low ceiling. Be careful. Okay. okay. I think. Whoa. The ball's going off right now. Yeah. Like crazy, actually. Oh, wait, it stopped. Can you touch it again? I can do more. <laughs> Thank you for being active and using the equipment. Boop. <laughs> Manisha, one more time, please. Can you touch the motion ball? Who told you my name? I don't want your ball. Okay. Whoa. That was kicked off. Oh, you want me to touch it? Pa. Okay. <laughs> Foreign, okay. 
And no energy. That's not a regular what? spirit, my guy. No, this thing can't, doesn't light up at all. It sucked up the energy. The upstairs loft, but doesn't find any explanation as to how the little ball could have suddenly launched itself down the stairs. Mm -hmm. When Jordan heads back down, this happens. Uh oh. I hate these stairs. You're gonna get pushed, my guy. Whoa. Okay. You ain't going anywhere. The, the door, door closed. Mysteriously closes on oh. its own. <laughs> Jordan decides to sit down on the bed where Mother Manisha tragically passed away in hopes of communicating with her spirit. What? No, what you don't next? do this that. Is chilling. Manisha, are you st are you still here? Or are you are you done for the night? Why do these coasts like messing with the water? Like why? Oh yeah. Unless the unless the spirit is going through the motions of when they were alive, so they're used to taking a shower and the faucet turns on, you know, like it's a uh, how you call it. Uh, memory, uh, like sometimes certain places when you're used to doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over, your energy gets stuck in that position and therefore it looks paranormal or supernatural when your energy is just doing the same old thing it normally does. That's why I always question why people get scared when like, uh, a door slams or faucet turns on. It's just like the faucet just turned on. I mean, you can be a little nervous about how it turned on, but why freak the hell out and go batshit crazy when that happens? Like, <laughs> you know, but it is what it is. See? What did I say? I said it. I've never seen this clip before, but I said it. I said it. The spirit is used to doing its normal thing. And showering was one of them. And where did he saw the... Nisha. He saw her in the shower. Look at this. Water, look, see? These footsteps. Am I gonna find you? Hey. Oh, okay. that's creepy. Okay, Manisha. I think it's time that we met face to face, right? So that's not what you want to do. Manisha? Ho! Oh. Dude, why are you going down there by yourself? Yo, you need people with you. Oh, oh I thought that the camera hey. froze. Why is that upside down there? Hey Manish, do you know? If you want me to leave, I'll leave. But I thought we were friends. The bathtub faucet suddenly turns on, and when Jordan checks it out, he finds someone or something standing in the bathtub. It's like I said. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be dressed in red. The figure then no. disappears from the bathroom. That's Even what the gone, skin looks like when the light is on it like that. To the basement. Especially and when you're a little darker. The footprints down. The lid of the washing machine lifts and drops on its own. Oh. oh, okay. Then a light bulb next to the washer spontaneously bursts. It does? Oh. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh. Those lights don't burst like that. Towards the door to the basement and the door to the attic records as Jordan heads back upstairs. Without the investigator knowing... The camera catches something truly bizarre. A shadow following him? Oh, there's a rough hut. Anisha? Oh, there's a 
water pot. Anisha. Ah, I heard footsteps. A shadow figure quickly darts into the living room. Oh, a shadow comes figure around the corner of the basement. So could this be the spirit of Manisha still trapped inside the home she shared with her son? It's possible. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more terrifying activity and a possible conversation with Manisha's ghost okay. over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Okay, Paranormies. Hide and seek. Seek. Well, I don't 100% believe in spirits. I think it's possible. But in that case it looks very plausible because there's a lot of evidence for it so it looks very plausible Polly sets out to investigate a home that's been terrorized by extreme paranormal activity the okay. father of the family who lives in the house reached out to Ahmad claiming to have seen the apparition of a little boy Ooh. he says the child spirit plays with his daughter's toys okay. often screaming and throwing fits of rage the okay. family believes the boy to be a dangerous shape-shifting djinn, and they feel that it is no longer safe to live in their home. Ahmad stays overnight as he tries to get answers for the terrified family. He streams his investigation live on Snapchat. As the investigator walks Snapchat? around the house, mm, nothing much seems to happen. So he puts down his phone and decides to walk away from it, hoping something might appear while he's not observing. His live audience is shocked by what the phone captures. Ooh. Let's see what shocked people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> looking away and has no idea that the little boy has made a chilling appearance. Unaware of the lurking djinn, Ahmad records himself as he steps inside the same room, right next to the figure. Surprisingly, the explorer still doesn't see anything, but his live audience does. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> he saw that. He saw that. <laughs> All right. I'm laughing because to me that's not scary. What it looks like, it, it looks like one of those um, um Looney Tunes skits. So he's like, gee, there's nothing. And it's like, peekaboo, I'm going to play with my toys. And then all of a sudden, he's like, there's nothing in here, see? And then he was like, or is there? <laughs> it's not scary to me. That shit looks funny. <laughs> Ahmad is shocked when he finally sees the boy. He quickly grabs his phone and hurries inside the room, but there's no one there. And from here, the paranormal activity only intensifies. A few moments later, and this <laughs> happens. What happens? What happens? How you? Let's see. Uh, eh? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسخلما خلما خين طب الولد هون والله غير أشوف الولد أو كل شيء أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم okay it could be a gin to be honest أيوة 
Something makes another quick appearance and Ahmad suddenly hears a loud slamming sound in the other room. When he goes to check it out, again, there's nothing there. Ahmad is baffled and continues to search throughout the house. Okay. You tell him. Okay. Again, the boy shows himself. Ahmad runs to find the child, but he has disappeared yet again. So did the investigator capture the djinn that is said to haunt the family? Yeah. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You decide. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram. Check here, out his stuff. My Twitter here and TikTok. Yeah. If you're not subscribed, please do and turn on notifications. So hopefully I'll see you back here again next time. Okay. Well, I'm a subscriber. I already subscribed to Nukes Top 5. Also, that gin. So apparently in, in that country, um, gins play games with people and and they're mischievous and stuff so that could be very well a gin playing hide and seek with this guy because he thinks it's fun and games so yeah it, it, it could be that all right so we're gonna take it to the other me my double ganger <laughs> yeah. all right All right, guys, that was Nuke's top five videos that make you go, ah! <laughs> All right, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys follow Nuke, subscribe to Nukes, and also hit the notification bell for Nuke's top five so you can see the videos before, you know, reactors do. So, yeah, all right? Um, also help him out so he can get more fun so he can make more videos All right, so I want you guys to do is Ravish that like button Ravish that subscribe button flick that notification bell that way, you know when night 7 of October thon of ravage lands Will appear so I hope you guys have a spooky night and see you next time on ravage lands Peace.